Hello everyone, I am Gogi from Gogi.in and you are watching the review of Samsung Galaxy E5. This is a dual SIM handset that sports a 5 inch screen with HD resolution. There is 8 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash and a front camera of 5 megapixel resolution. This handset is powered by 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon quad core processor. It's running Android KitKat with 1.5 GB RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. E5 comes with a built-in battery of 2400 mAh capacity. Here is the box pack, specs are clearly mentioned on the box and inside the box you'll find the Galaxy E5. The rear side is black color, plastic body. You also get a warranty card, quick start guide, data cable, travel charger, premium quality earphone, earphone plug caps, and SIM tray ejector pin. This is the E5 sporting a 5 inch screen with HD resolution. It's with a Super AMOLED screen. It is using the same hardware that we have seen on the Galaxy A5. The difference between E5 and A5 is that the E5 comes with a metal frame and the back panel is made up of plastic. The rear side has got a matte finish, build quality and the finishing is very good. Handset is pretty slim, lightweight and comfortable to hold. Two navigation buttons and the dedicated physical button in the center. Here is the in-call speaker, Samsung logo, sensors and the front camera of 5 megapixel resolution. There are textures on the front panel. Volume rockers are placed on the left side, power button on the right side, along with SIM slots, mic at the top, there's a mic at the bottom along with 3.5mm audio jack and a micro USB port, dual mics for noise cancellation, 2400mAh battery comes built in, speaker out vent, 8 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash. There are dual SIM slots, you need two nano SIMs. SIM 2 is a hybrid slot, it will either support a nano SIM or a micro SD card. You cannot use both together. So in case if you want to use dual SIMs, you will not be able to use the SD card. E5 weight is 119 grams with battery, it is about 7.37 mm thick. And it's running Android KitKat with TouchWiz UI. There was an update available and I have already updated. Performance is good. Touch is very smooth and responsive. Color reproduction is very good. It's a super AMOLED screen and it will definitely look better than other non-AMOLED screens. Viewing angles are also great. The navigation buttons do light up. There is built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS multi-window, notification panel, motion and gestures, blocking mode, private mode and power saving option with ultra power saving mode. There is no light sensor, if you go to the brightness you would need to manually adjust the brightness levels. There is outdoor mode option, once you enable the outdoor mode option the screen will switch to full brightness for about 15 minutes. As already mentioned, you'll need to manually adjust the brightness. There is no light sensor. You can also set the brightness using the quick settings option. Outdoor option is also available. Here's the phone dialer. Native video calling is supported. Galaxy E5 supports 3G and there is the smart dual SIM option wherein you can receive calls from both the SIM cards even during a call. Here are the Indian regional languages that are supported. There is 16 gigabytes of internal storage space. You'll get around 11 GB free. And of the 1.5 GB RAM, you'll get around 710 MB free on the first boot. OTG is not supported. Here is the camera interface, similar to as seen on the other Galaxy handsets. There are different modes and you can also download additional modes. There is an 8 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear with LED flash and with full HD video recording support. Front camera is fixed focus of 5 megapixel resolution. You can use your palm to capture selfies. Wide selfie is supported. You can visit my website for sample images and videos shot using this handset. And now let's check out the system information. This handset is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.2 GHz quad core processor. It's a 64-bit Cortex-A53 with Adreno 306 GPU. It's using the MSM8916 chipset running Android 4.4.4. .4 .4 and here are the sensors, accelerometer proximity, 
Quadrant benchmark score is 12131 and Tutu score is 20875. Vilamo Metal 962 Multicore 1261 Browser 2042. Nina Mark 2 is at 53.2 FPS and uh, the E5 supports 10 point multi touch. Let's check out some games Asphalt 8. This game got installed on the internal storage. It is set to the highest visual quality. Gameplay is very smooth. I did not find any issues, but do note that the applications are getting installed on the internal storage. The Samsung Galaxy E5 has got a tough metal frame and a plastic body. It is powered by 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon quad core processor. The performance is very good. The handset doesn't heat up much. Camera quality is above average. OTG is not supported and you cannot install apps on the external storage. The battery backup looks pretty good. You can expect about 5 to 9 hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage. The Samsung Galaxy E5 is a cheaper version of the Galaxy A5, available for a price tag of under Rs 16,500. If you are brand conscious, E5 is a good option.